Hi, Mike at Don's Johns. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick uh, training video to go over some of the things that uh, we saw the other saw recently in uh, Serveman Mobile. Um, for starters, when you open the application, it'll look like this. Uh, if I were a driver, this would be a copy of my route sheet, and you can click on each individual stop to get some additional details. Uh, gives you things like uh, type of service, work order type, uh, phone number, if you needed to call the customer, um, over here you can get uh, history of that site. This would show if there were any attached files. Um, routes can be sent two different ways. Uh, typically we would be creating them in the desktop application and using the uh, using a uh, web server to uh, push them out to each user's device. Uh, you can also create stops directly from the device which we'll go ahead and do that now. So you would go ahead. So you would start by. You can search by uh, a couple different categories, uh, such as the name of the customer. And we'll just go ahead and use this, and it pulls up Rob Webster at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. If we hold down on that, we can create a new work order for that customer. Give it a reference number and a work order type. Uh, so 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Let's do uh, some plumbing preventive maintenance. Um, whatever. This is just a. Uh, this is running off of a uh, demo database. Uh, that's actually at uh, Serveman's office. And once you've got your uh, work order type and your reference number and everything saved. Uh, so now this shows my new work order status is open you can come down here and tap it to schedule we'll go ahead and schedule it for today save that and you can see that that's now saved if I back out to here, there's the new one that I just created down at the bottom. So if I were to click on that and open it back up, um, so the status is open right now. So I'll say I'm a driver, I'm about to go to uh, service that site. Um, you would hold down on the status and we can change it to in route and ask for a confirmation you hit yes and as soon as you change that status to in route it automatically syncs to the uh, web server so it's going to push that information directly back to our offices um, and we can hit OK and you can see at the top of the screen this timer has started showing how much it's going to record how much time this driver has spent in route on his way to this site um, so once you hit in route you would want to scroll over to this one the uh, navigation and you see that this will allow me to uh, get driving directions to that site using either of my uh, the two built-in navigation apps I have on my phone Once I've arrived on the site, same thing, hold down on here. I'm going to change the uh, status to on site. And you see, once again, it automatically uh, syncs to uh, the web server. And now the timer at the top starts over again. It's going to say on site. 
uh, this would be uh, you know while the driver was servicing the units on site um, if there's an access issue with the site like say he gets there and he has to wait 30 minutes before they even let him in he can use this uh, set time up here and that'll just add an additional 30 minutes and that gets recorded on the back end um, to basically say that he uh, had to wait an additional 30 minutes um, some other features are uh, the attached files uh, this top left up here is a uh, picture of a camera if I were to open that it would open my built-in camera on my phone I could take a picture that picture would uh, immediately be uploaded back to the uh, serveman desktop application so users in the office can see it it'll automatically attach to the order um, as opposed to having a driver have to email uh, a picture back and then dispatchers save it from the email and attach it manually this application handles all of that directly um, uh, through this uh, file tab you can also see if there's any attach any uh, other attachments such as uh, signed contracts PDFs etc um, they can collect cash record signatures not things that we're gonna need to use a whole lot um, let's see let's go back to home and so we want to he's on site we want to go ahead and we can now complete this order it's going to say set, set status to complete yes and for some reason it crashes every time we try to close an order with the mobile um, bugs need to be worked out obviously but uh, you can see the basics of how this would operate um, once that order is closed out uh, it would actually disappear from the drivers uh, route sheet and that would be it so that's the complete process uh, as we uh, envision our drivers most likely using it uh, thank you for your time